All right, Ryan Ferran here for Tucson News Now, hanging out with my new not-so-best friends. These are the Arizona Bark Scorpions, the most venomous scorpion in Arizona. And this is the Egyptian Deathstalker. <laughs> you don't want to run into any of these guys. All right, Marshall, let's give them the black light and see how much they glow when the black light goes on them. And Marshall, we're not even sure exactly what makes them glow like that, are we? No, there's different uh, analogies. Scientists have come up with just something with their protein enzymes uh, on their exoskeleton. They are, they are the only uh, arthropod that, that will glow uh, under the black light. And you caught these guys over here, the bark scorpions, um, just last night. Yes. Where did you catch these? And uh, you caught them pretty quick. This was a customer that was very concerned. They're actually not staying in their home uh, in Rancho Sarita, in the ranch. And I caught these seven. I wasn't, I wasn't there three minutes in the backyard. They were clung to the side of the wall of the house under the, uh, under the stucco by the... Uh, stem wall and one was on the back wall of their house so yeah it was incredible and these the bark scorpions are one of the, are the most dangerous in Arizona or just period yes there's 45 uh, uh, types in Arizona in the, the bark scorpion venom is the most lethal so what tips are you giving this homeowner and to people in general to, to keep these guys out of our homes really? this 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 particular homeowner we uh, Definitely want to recommend the cleaning up of the debris in the yard. They had a lot of overgrowth on their plants. The drip system was on last night. Uh, they had some rock piled up against the house that made this a very appetizing yard for these scorpions. Uh, reducing the other insects, crickets were chirping. There was spider webs everywhere. So we're going to go in there and we're going to eliminate uh, their food source, which will reduce their they're wanting to be there. Um, exclusion is very, very important. Uh, sealing up door frames, vents on the roof uh, mm -hmm. for the exhaust fan vents. Um, so th it's, a, it's a combination of a homeowner's understanding of, you know, these are desert. They're, they're here before us, and uh, you know, they're, they're going to survive. They are controllable. Um, and yes, it's something to be concerned about because uh, Young children and elderly have much more uh, uh, serious reactions than a healthy adult. It's still, you know, uh, deaths in Arizona has been since the 60s. Lots of lots of painful bites, lots of headaches, swelling. But so somebody hasn't died, like you said, from a scorpion bite in Arizona since the 60s. So it's been years. But what do you do if you there? There have been a lot of bites. What do you do if you get? If you get a bite. Yeah, excellent question. The, the, what we always recommend is uh, cold compressed where the bite mark is and relax because, you know, you, most likely it's, you're going to be okay. Um, in call poison control, they're going to go through a series of symptoms and then they may recommend you going, you know, getting medical attention. But for the most part, cold compressed, some aspirin, and uh, relaxing. And with the uh, when people find them in their pools, everyone in Arizona has a pool. They're kind of sink to the bottom, uh, but these guys can hold their breath for a long time. So they they may look dead, but they're probably not. That is very correct. I've had customers pull them out of a pool, set them on the pool decking. Fifteen minutes later, <laughs> they're running around. They have uh, book lungs. They can close those off and sit for several days underwater. Uh, so when you pull them out of a pool, you want to crush them and, and make sure they're dead because that's really nothing to them. I mean, it, temporarily. Right. Marshall, we appreciate your time and the tips. I know some people are freaking out just looking at this video and they don't, they don't like these guys, but it is good to know that if you do get bit, you're probably not going to die, but you need to be careful around the babies. Oh, one other tip. They can't climb glass. And so if you are have them in your home and you do have a little one, uh, a good tip that I've heard and you've passed along is put the legs of the crib in a glass container like this 
because uh, scorpions can't climb, climb that, glass. That is absolutely correct. And just make sure there's no material that may be draped over that's touching the ground. Gotcha. Yeah. Very good. Marshall, thanks for your time, and yeah. thanks for bringing these, uh, these little guys to play with us. Enjoy.